And the award for most bland and mediocre film of the year goes to... A Quiet Place. Hello, it's Film Frenzy, and today I'll be reviewing the 2018 horror film A Quiet Place, starring Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. The first category I'll be rating A Quiet Place on is direction and visuals. So, A Quiet Place, I think, has great direction and visuals, and there's really nothing wrong with them, so I'm going to give it a perfect 5 out of 5. John Krasinski, in his directorial debut, does a superb job. I think he shows the suspense pretty well with the creatures and stuff. And I think the visuals, the cinematography, is just really beautiful. Like, they show upstate New York and all the mountains and the railroads in this really just beautiful way, it felt like. Plus, I just, like, some of these shots are just really nice with the waterfalls and, like, the actual, like, action of the film. So I think that they did a really good job with that. Like, it's just a very well-made film, visually speaking. So now I'll be discussing acting and character development. This category is a real mixed bag. Because on one hand, the acting is really just great here. All the actors are completely believable when they're whispering sign language or just like talking. Like John Krasinski and Emily Blunt both I think have very good chemistry when they are together and they're both just super great actors. They have a lot of emotions during it and I think the child children actors all do a really good job but the character development not so strong so the, for this category I'm giving it a three out of five like here's the thing the character development honestly I don't know how I would even describe these characters like this is about as far as it can go they're a family that loves each other like that that's it like yeah they're like nice to each other sometimes they get upset but like that's that's about it like there's a little bit of stuff with like guilt in this movie or like if like someone loves someone but like that's there's really just not much character development like these characters don't really like move throughout the story and like change at all and they're not even like well-defined characters either so I think I attribute that to the lack of like a, a big script but I think that's just a big problem with this movie because you, you feel like only semi-attached to these characters. My final and most important category are the story elements, plot pacing, script, and theme. So we've now entered my make or break category for a film. And this is gonna break A Quiet Place pretty darn bad because I'm giving A Quiet Place a 1 out of 5 for plot pacing, script, and theme. So here's why. First off, we'll talk about the plot. Oh wait, there's no plot. There's not really much to talk about. It's literally just a, cl a clever premise. Oh, they have to be quiet. So it's like, it's going to be a little bit different from your average horror film because there's going to be really just very few spoken words and that's it. Like they have to be quiet from these evil monsters. Like there's like three of them and like you just have to be quiet. That That's basically it. They're just trying to avoid monsters the entire time. There's no like elaborate plot or anything. And I generally feel that's how most monster horror films are. So when I first saw the trailer, I didn't know what they were being quiet from. I thought maybe it would be something cool, like maybe like some oppressive government or something, or somebody's like watching them. I thought it was going to be like some psychological thriller, right? But no, it's just a monster movie. I was like, oh, it's just a stupid monster movie with jump scares. Great. And like that's not what I wanted from like a horror That's not what I want from horror movies. Like Get Out's a perfect example of a good horror movie. That has just great, it's just, just people, no monsters. It's more sci-fi concepts, cerebral, more psychological and scary. This is just pure physical jump scares, so I don't I don't like that at all. There's very, very little plot here. Pacing, I found the pacing because they don't really talk. It's just so slow, and it's an hour and a half, but it felt a lot longer than an hour and a half. And that's kind of how it felt. It's just like kind of a lot of nice visuals, but it just got repetitive and just like, come on, let's just get this over with. Let's get to some good parts, but when there's no real plot, and it's just, just kind of leveled the entire time, there, there, there's not really much pacing you can do. Instead, it's just slow and nothing really happens. And then when it finally gets interesting towards the end, like, it kind of ends during, like, the climatic action. I'm not going to go more to that because spoilers, but I was kind of disappointed because, like, I understand what they're doing, how they don't really have resolution and stuff, but, like, I don't know. I want to see some good action. Like, there was some decent action towards the end of the film, but... Like, it's still not much of a plot, so it's still a little bit bland and boring still. And then, talking about the script, well, there's very little script because of, like, there's, it's only, like, mostly just, like, um, subtitles at the bottom that's, like, for, like, signing or, like, 
so like really soft whispering and then there's some words they say to each other but like honestly it was like i feel like most of the script was really just like saying commands and like bland stuff there was a couple like good parts like for example like while i'm talking about the theme like you could really just if you look really hard find a theme about how like you should always like say like like that you love someone that you always want to express love because you don't know what's going to happen next and there was like a, two conversations i thought those were the best part of the movie about like love and stuff but that was kind of it. Like, there was very little to get for the theme because there was very little script because there was very little plot. It's like all this kind of adds together in this, like, horrible, like, circular domino effect type of thing where it's like, oh, there's very little script, meaning there's very little plot. And because there's very little script, there's very little theme, which, like, and then there's very, very little plot, which throws off the pacing. Everything just, like, get, goes downhill from here for this category. So the story elements are all just kind of a mess. Like, not, it's just rough. It's really, really hard. So, for my final score, I'm giving A Quiet Place, Dead Red, 2.5 out of 5, right in the center. This is probably the most mediocre film I've ever seen. Like I said at the beginning, it's just so hard to give, like, I think the movie is a thumbs up or thumbs down with 2.5 out of 5. Because, like, lean one way or the other. This one, I was having so much trouble. I was tempted just to do this. Like, a thumbs in the middle. But you, you can't do that, right? You have to give a thumbs up or thumbs down. So, after thinking about it for a while, I've decided to be the nice guy and give A Quiet Place a barely, barely two and a half thumbs up. Because this movie, overall, it's somewhat entertaining and it's very just well done, like, with acting and visually speaking. So, I mean, there's a lot better ways to spend, like, an hour and a half. Like, and I would not recommend seeing this in theaters. Like, see something else that's more interesting. But, like, it's it's decent. It's just very mediocre. Like, it's a bland movie with not a ton of, like, emotion. And it's just, like, just, just felt like I've seen it before. So that's my review for A Quiet Place. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out other reviews I have on my channel. So see you guys later from Film Frenzy. Bye.